Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back, and today I have for you something a little bit different. Viper is the latest job added to PvP with a unique ability, the Snake Scales, which plants the Viper in place reducing damage by 50%, which then makes you immune to all crowd control effects. Mastering this one ability is the key to mastering the role, and in today's video, myself and Bunny went over each and every job to find out what actions and abilities can have an effect against the snake scales. Thank you all for the continued support, and without further ado, let's begin. Let us begin with the DPS, starting with the Samurai. Snake scales will allow you to avoid the one-shot from their limit break, and your mass bind has no effect. For the Monk, firstly your stun from Six-Sided Star has no effect. The limit break does in fact interrupt snake scales, and although it says zero damage on screen, Bunny did still take the 12,000 damage from Meteo Dive. The knockback effect of Enlightenment also has no effect, which also shuts down the Limit Break's extra damage. Dragoons have no interrupt. However, your Limit Break Sky Shatter has more than enough time to outlast Snake Scales for full damage. Onto the Ninja, your Limit Break's effect to insta-kill any target under 50% does indeed work through Snake Scales. However, your double stun will not. Yes. For the Reaper, the Heavy of Grim Swarth will have no effect. However, your Limit Break's Hysteria does indeed interrupt. And last up for melee DPS, Viper vs Viper. You cannot interrupt their Snake Scales, but you can set up for some burst damage using your second. Onto the tanks, firstly the Paladin Shield Bash, for obvious reasons has no effect. Next we have the Warrior, the stun from Primal Rend is ineffective, and the drawing effect from Bloater is also ineffective. Your Limit Break Primal Scream will apply its effect, however this does not shut down Snake Scales like it does with Guard. For Gunbreaker, Three, two, using your Limit Break just after Snake Scales is activated gives you enough time to build 5 stacks and then land the stun. So if I do and you Vipers will be happy to know that a Dark Knight Salted Earth will not pull you in. Perfect. Onto the healers starting with the White Mage. First up the Imp ability has now been fixed and will no longer work against Snake Scales including no effect from the activation of their Limit Break. For Astros, the back-to-back -back Heavy and Bind have no effect. Scarless is interesting. If you apply your darts to a player before they use Guard, they take full damage. However, if you apply your darts before they use Snake Scales, the damage is still reduced while active. Vipers are able to safely stand with inside a Sage's Limit Break. Onto physical range first we have the Bards. The bind from your jump back and your silence have no effect. For you dancers, just like with Reaper's Hysteria, the seduce from your Limit Break does indeed interrupt. For Black Mage, landing half asleep before they cast Snake Scales will still put them to sleep, interrupting the ability. However, landing stacks of ice beforehand will not trigger the crowd control effects when using Super Flare. Using Snake Scales into a summoner's slipstream, just like with the Sage's Limit Break, you are more than able to tear through it, and the bind has no effect. Thank you. There we go. And last up, the resolution crowd control from Red Mages is ineffective. I'm feeling this video has nothing to do with Snake Scale, she's one shot off your legs in a goth made outfit. And that'll be a nice segue to say like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for the segue. <laughs>